at 1-800-DISCOVER. There's no annual fee. And with our cashback bonus award, the sooner you call, the sooner we can return the favor. It pays to discover. I'm Ted Kopp. Later on Nightline, the biggest government shutdown in modern times. It is certainly a debate over the budget, but it's also Act 1 of Campaign 96. Now stay tuned for the news. And coming up, when will the DA decide on charges in the Gamage case? A family makes a public place, son, please come home. New Gingrich says the president snubbed him, the president responds. And the families demand an answer at the U.S. Air crash hearings. Action News begins right now. Watched by more people than any other network. ABC. WTAE TV Pittsburgh. Right now, Channel 4 Action News is everywhere. Tonight, only on 4, to catch a killer, how you can help. Tonight, the latest, son, come home. Okay. There's nothing that can't be worked out somehow. Tonight, the details, an accused rapist outsmarted by a kid and under arrest. And tonight's big story, will he go for what happened to Johnny Gamage? Good evening, that is the debate in Brentwood, the fate of police chief Wayne Babish. Tonight, a special meeting between the Police Association and Borough Council. Baron James is live with the latest. Baron? Sally, they met for about two hours behind closed doors here tonight at the Brentwood Municipal Building. As you mentioned, members of the Brentwood Council, members of the Brentwood Police Association, and Brentwood's mayor. A meeting call to make sure the Brentwood Police Department continues to do its job to protect and to serve Brentwood residents in the aftermath of John Johnny Gamage's death last month in police custody, but also a topic of continuing discussion tonight, whether or not to get rid of police chief Wayne Babish. I caught up with Babish before the meeting. Tonight, he was out in the cold. Will you be at the meeting? No, sir, I have not been invited. Mm -hmm. Will uh, your solicitor be at the meeting? I don't believe he has been invited either. I think ultimately what it comes down to is uh, the, the mutual respect between the, the, the administration, um, uh, the, the chief himself and his administering duties, and the police officers. My position is that uh, I would like to, to remain as the chief of police here in Brentwood. So again, no decision tonight, Sally, made concerning Chief Babish at this meeting called by the Brentwood Police Association. But come Monday, Chief Babish and his attorney have called a meeting with Brentwood Council to talk about whether he stays or whether he goes. Live in Brentwood, Baron James, Channel 4 Action News. Sally. All right, thanks, Baron. And as for the charges against the five police officers involved in the Johnny Gamage case, DA Bob Coville will not decide on the charges until next week at the earliest. Coville already ruled out first and second degree murder charges just saying the officers had no intent to kill Johnny Gamage. She wanted a part in the school play. She did not get it. And after rocky conciliation attempts, Jillian Woodruff's parents announced this week they intend to sue the North Allegheny School District. But tonight, the show went on without Jillian. Andy Pearson is live now with the latest. Andy. Well, Scott, Little Women opened tonight at North Allegheny High School with controversy, with word that uh, former Steeler, now attorney Dwayne Woodruff, has uh, filed a motion of intent to sue because his daughter Jillian was denied a part in the play, as you say. He says it was because Julian is black. The auditorium about half full tonight. School officials uh, vehemently refusing to talk to us with the uh, lawsuit pending, but we were told it's upsetting to the, not only the cast of the play, but to the whole student body. Some of the students we talked to say this thing is overblown, out of proportion. They just want to get on with the school year. We want our senior year to be great, and we just want to go out as friends and not have any problems or anything like that. Is it working that way? Yeah, so far. It's been a fast senior year, and there hasn't been too many problems other than a few little things, but it's been a pretty good year. Of course, Dwayne Woodruff says his uh, daughter's school year has been tainted with racism. In his uh, motion, the Woodruffs say they want an apology, they want diversity training for uh, students here, and they want compensation, which the Woodruffs say the money would be going to a, a minority scholarship. And the school system has defended its casting uh, procedures. They say they will continue, and they hope to talk with the Woodruffs. Woodruffs say they're still waiting for that phone call. Reporting live in North Allegheny High School, Andy Pearson, Channel 4 Action News. Okay, Scott. Andy, thank you. No controversy tonight surrounding a 14-year-old boy from Westmoreland County. Only praise. Michael Smith is the reason this man is under arrest. Police say Joe Callahan tried to lure the teenager into his car. Smith resisted. 
and Callahan drove away, but not before Smith got the license number. Police quickly moved in. They found out Callahan served time in prison for raping a boy before. It terrifies me, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think the kids realize it, unfortunately. Uh, my husband and I, I think we're shaken worse than our son was at the time because we know what could have happened if he would have gotten into the car. Callahan is in jail on $20,000 bond. He told the judge he was heartily sorry, but the judge was tough on 23-year-old Robert Herbst. Herbst was drunk when he crashed in February. One-year-old Eric Barba was killed. The judge sentenced Herbst to four to eight years in jail, even though Herbst said that he would be willing to die if it would bring the baby back. Come home, Joe. Tonight, an urgent message to wandering Joe Waldholz. From the Potomac to the Three Rivers to Salt Lake, the hunt is on for the congresswoman's husband and the missing millions. He always took my son at his word. Says the father of the son, who on Saturday shattered a lifetime of trust. I called him at home, and he was his usual jovial self. Who hours later deserted his wife and baby daughter and left his family in Pittsburgh to face a battery of reporters. Do you think he'll ever see Joe again? Absolutely. His family does want to know what happened to the at least 700 grand Joe was supposed to invest for his grandmother. Her family has questions of millions more that may be missing. Contact me. There's nothing that can't be worked out somehow. Please come on back. Come on home. We love you and miss you. The federal warrant is out. Check kiting the charge. Where did the millions go? Where did the fortune come from? There is no Waldholz Trust. The couple was close to eviction. Their rented D.C. townhouse, once owned by Henry Kissinger, ran 3800 a month. And the Utah report today says last week, Joe asked Enid to resign. Joe, a father can only wonder. How would you feel if your son disappeared? <laughs> Authorities still believe Joe may be in Canada, and they have not ruled out the possible involvement of Enid Green Waldholz in the fiscal scandal that could cost her a seat in Congress. More local news now, county by county. In Johnstown, Cambria County, James Spizak will stand trial for beating his 76-year-old mother with a baseball bat. Mrs. Spizak survived the attack. In Greensburg, Westmoreland County, a rape suspect is out of jail tonight. A judge ordered Kenneth Guy released after prosecutors asked for a delay in the start of the trial. In Connellsville, Fayette County, the father of a boy killed by a pack of dogs is under arrest. Police say Robert Thorpe helped torch this trailer where the dog's owners lived. And in Rockwood, Somerset County, police have called in a forensic anthropologist to help them identify the skeletal remains of a man found in the woods. The victim was shot in the head. Police have had no luck identifying the victim on their own. Another mystery, this one's still not close to being solved, the crash of U.S. Air Flight 427. Today, the families of the victims told investigators they need an answer. It's in a lot of people's hearts that uh, we need closure. We need to find a reason why this happened. But the NTSB says they're not close to knowing what happened. Investigators say maybe next year, if ever. There is no doubt who pulled the trigger. A murder suspect participates in a reenactment of his crime. Next on Action News. Next, Newt's action and the president's reaction. The government shutdown gets a bit personal. Jana Reno gets personal about her job and her health. Right now, Joe's busy in the Weather Center. The weekend in our Weather Watch forecast coming up. During the following 10 years, he could profitably make a careful analysis of the relationship between the vibratory structure.